Let's be very clear, Bahrain does have something to do with the war in Yemen. They are part of a nine-country coalition. They have lost soldiers in Bahrain. They have flown bombing missions. Bahrain is an intimate part of the coalition fighting the war. So you might ask yourself, is it enough to do nothing? We're going to put sanctions on people who are in jail. You think they care? They're probably going to be beheaded. Sanctions is a way of pretending to do something and doing nothing. The arms sales. I'm not saying we never sell arms to Bahrain. I'm saying one time we don't. That might get them the message. People say, we don't like the human rights record of Bahrain. It's abominable. But do you think they will react to weakness? Please don't hurt your people. Please don't commit atrocities on the majority Shia population. No, quit selling them arms one time and they'll sit up and they'll say, let's have a talk. People respect strength. We don't show strength unless we do something that is more dramatic than putting sanctions on people who are already in prison. This is about Saudi Arabia, but it's also about the coalition of nine countries of which Bahrain is. If you think meek words will stop the Saudis, listen to this. Pompeo said three weeks ago, Pompeo said that they should seize all bombing of civilian centers. How many bombs have dropped on Hodeida since he asked them to seize? 200 bombs have dropped on Hodeida, the port where the humanitarian aid needs to come in for a starving population since we told them not to. Now we said we're not going to refuel their planes anymore. We're not refueling their planes. They're refueling their planes with our planes. Everything they fly is our plane. Their pilots are trained by us. Their mechanics are trained by us. We need to be stronger. It is a sense of weakness. It is a display of weakness not to at least block one arm sales. This is a modest proposal, and it's the least we can do.